What's up guys and welcome back to a new episode about the MVC structure. MVC stands for Model View Controller. It's an architecture or a software design pattern that makes creating huge applications easy. It does not belong to a specific programming language or framework, but it's more like a concept that you can use in creating any kind of application or software in any programming language. The model works directly with the database. It does not have to deal with the user interface or data processing. In the real world scenario, you would simply use the model to fetch, insert, update, and delete data from your database. It is directly connected with the controller and it has nothing to do with the views. In simple words, the view is the user interface on which, well, a user, for instance, can perform some actions. It contains your HTML, CSS, JavaScript, XML, or so on, or any markup language that we can use to create a beautiful user interface. It also contains code to show the data that it receives from our application. The only two things that the view has to do is to show data to a user on a user interface and to respond to the events. Let's say that you have an update or delete button on your web page. The answer is that the user should be redirected to the update form or the delete confirmation pop-up based on the click on the button. Now comes the most interesting part of the architecture. The controller is the part in which we process data after we get a request from the view and before updating anything in our database with our model. The controller contains the functions that we can program however we want. So as you could see on my screen, we have the MVC written down and the view is what the user can see, which communicates with the controller. So it can send information and it can receive information. Then the controller will communicate with the model, which will do a request to the database, which will also be sent to the view. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of the MVC architecture? A huge advantage is that the development of the application will become fast. It is easy for multiple developers whenever you work at an organization to collaborate and work together. It is also easy to update the application because it will change on multiple places. It is easy to debug as we have multiple levels priority written in the application. And the huge disadvantage is, is that the MVC architecture is pretty difficult to understand in the beginning. There are a couple strict rules or methods that you have to follow. This was it for the episode about the MVC structure. In the next episode, I want to create a login system using the MVC model. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.